Hello friends, this video on Amines part 34 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exams. Now I have an aniline reacting with bromine. It's a very strong. So what will happen is this bromine will be replaced at ortho and para position. So what you will get here is this NH2, this bromine here, this bromine here and this bromine here. This is what you will get, 246 tribromoaniline. So if you want to have bromine at only one position, then you have to poison this NH2 with pyridine. And we have seen that kind of reaction. Right? This is the reaction we have. So we are, poison, we are poisoning now aniline with pyridine. This is my pyridine. So you see the reaction, what happens here is, I have my NH2. Lone pair CH3COO COCH3 slightly negative, slightly positive. This nitrogen will attack this carbon, this bond will break. So, what will happen here is this nitrogen with hydrogen, hydrogen and COCH3. Since nitrogen gave electron to this carbon, it's a positive charge. Somebody has to leave. This hydrogen will say I leave. Hydrogen is a good living group. So you'll get something like this. This is what you get. Correct? This is N phenyl ethanamide. Plus, obviously, you'll get this part CH3, COO, and H plus will come out from here. You combine here, you will get CH3COH also. So this reaction we have seen, this is a way to introduce NO2 to a benzene ring. So this will first convert into uh, N2BF4- in the first reaction. Right, Cl will be replaced with BF4-. Now this, when you react with NaNO2 and copper and some heat, what will happen is this whole thing will be converted to NO2. So you'll get C6H5 NO2. That is my nitrobenzene. Correct? And obviously, in this case, nitrogen gas will come out and you get NaBF4. See the question says uh, aromatic compound A is aromatic on treatment with aqueous ammonia and, he and heating forms B which on reacting with Br2 and KOH it gives C. Since it is reacting with Br2 KOH that means this is a Hoffman degradation reaction that means it has to be of R. CO NH2 form. Correct. And since C is the output of the degradation reaction, C will be in the form R NH2 form. Correct. Also, it is aromatic. So B is my amide and this is my C is my amine. So C is amine with the formula C6H7N. And there's a benzene ring also. So you see, this is C6H5, what you are left with is NH2. This is the only possible formula of C. If this is my C, B will be this with CO extra. Correct? This is my B because on this, if you do a Hoffman bromamide degradation, you get C. So I have got B and C. Correct? Now, A. Something when you treat with ammonia, you get NH this compound. That means A has to be what? A has to be a benzoic acid. Because this, when you add NH3, you get B. That is benzamide. And this, when you go for this Hoffman. Degradation reaction, you get aniline. 
So this is the sequence. You have A from A, you get B, and from B you get C. This fashion. So the question is why cannot aromatic primary amines be prepared by Gabriel thalamate synthesis? So you see this Gabriel thalamate synthesis is used to prepare one degree aliphatic amines only. Why? Because it involves an SN2 reaction where this alkyl halide is replaced by or replaces the ions. I'll show you what. The reaction mechanism if you see. This is my halamide, they react with this KOH, what you get here is this compound. Okay, this is N minus K plus. Now this K plus is replaced with my Rx. So R is R plus, X is X minus, right? So this R plus will kick this K plus out and it will form something like this. R. So once I have R here, right, what I can do is, we generally do is here, we react it with NaOH. So what will happen is this becomes CO and this becomes ONA, right? And yes, you have R, you have N, it becomes RNH2, right? RNH2 comes out. But the trick is, if you react with Rx, it is fine if it is alkyl halide, but if you react with aryl halide, this will not be able to replace this K+. plus. Correct. So you have this alkyl halide here, it works fine, but you have aryl halide, it doesn't work fine. So if you have aryl halide, for example, you have this one, so this reaction won't happen actually. So this, this benzene with the plus will not be able to replace this K plus. Correct. So we write the reactions of aromatic and aliphatic primary amines with nitrous acid. So we have seen this. So I have aromatic amine. If you react with HNO2, that is nothing but NaNO2 in SCL, it will give you diazonium salt. This is, let's suppose, my benzene diazonium chloride, you get NaCl also, and you get some water molecule also. This is stable. At 0 to 5 degrees Celsius for some time, right? If you talk about the aliphatic amines, they form unstable diazonium salt. React with HNO2, that is nothing but my NaNA2 in HCl. Here also it is nothing but my NaNA2 in HCl. So what I get is RN2 plus Cl minus. And this is unstable. This is unstable, so it will break easily in water to form alcohol. Nitrogen gas will go off and you get SCL. That is the reaction. So aliphatic ones are not stable, they immediately break into alcohols, but the aromatic ones are a little stable. The question is why amines are less acidic than alcohol? So let's compare, let's assume that both are acidic. I have my RNH2 and if it is acidic, it is expected to give proton and I have ROH, if this is also acidic, it is expected to give proton. This will be the expected reaction, right? RO minus with H plus and RN minus H H plus. So if you see, here oxygen has negative charge, here nitrogen has negative charge. 
right oxygen is more electronegative than nitrogen since oxygen is more electronegative than nitrogen oxygen carrying negative charge is more stable so if this is more stable the output is more stable this reaction is more likely to happen right that means this is roh is more acidic this alcohol is more acidic right i'm just assuming we are having a protonation reaction The next is why do primary amines have higher boiling point than tertiary amines? So if you see primary amine, I have RnH2 and tertiary amine R3n. So if you see there is a hydrogen bond here. There is no hydrogen bond here. Right? There is no hydrogen bond here. There is two hydrogens that will form hydrogen bond. Since I can show you if you want RnH H will form hydrogen bond with another. This one H right like this it will form there's a hydrogen bond involved here. So with the hydrogen bond, the whole compound is more strong. Since it is more strong, you need more heat to break it up, and thus it has higher boiling point. But if you see this tertiary amine, there is no hydrogen bond involved, so it has low boiling point. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.